Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial showing you how to get started as a teacher or tutor in Pencil Spaces. Starting out with a new platform and completely switching to it can be very daunting and intimidating, especially when you have your own workflow for your lessons. So I'm going to be showing you the basics and everything you need to know to get started so that you can start your first lesson in Pencil Spaces. Starting off, we're going to go to PencilSpaces.com and we're going to click Login or Sign Up. That's going to redirect us to the login page. If you already have an account that has been created for you, you can log in with the email that was provided. If you have a Google account, click continue with Google and select the email associated with your account. Or if you don't have a Google account, you can sign in with Microsoft, Facebook, Clever, Fastlink, or just sign up with email. I'm going to sign up with Google. So I'm going to click continue with Google and select the email associated with my account. As soon as I log in, I'll see the Pencil Spaces homepage. This is where I can see all of my virtual classrooms. To create a new space, just click Create Space at the top right corner, and then you can rename the space to whatever you'd like. So for example, if I'm teaching a math lesson on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. every single week, I can name the lesson after that. That way, the space will appear as Math Lesson on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. every single time I enter the homepage. To invite students to your space, just copy the link and send it over to them, or you could directly invite them via email by clicking the Share button at the top right corner and then entering their email. So I'm going to invite my student, Kiara, and send her an invite. Once you've invited your students, you don't necessarily need to start the lesson right away. You have the ability to upload images, videos, PDFs, or PowerPoints. You could add any objects from the list of whiteboard tools. And you also have a full app library found at the bottom left corner, which allows you to add collaborative apps directly to the board. To upload a PDF, for example, just click Upload and choose an image, video, or document from your device. You can also drag and drop a file from your computer. You can also upload files from Pencil Files, which is our cloud storage system. I'm going to select this PDF and click Insert to upload it. The PDF will load on the board and you have the ability to unlock it to move it elsewhere. To move around the whiteboard, just click the Pan tool and scroll through the document. To zoom in and out, you can hold control or command on your keyboard and just scroll up and down using your mouse or trackpad. You can also use the navigator at the bottom right. The Infinite Whiteboard Canvas saves automatically, so any annotations that I place on the board will be saved automatically and can be referenced in the future. If I want to add a collaborative app, let's say I want to watch a YouTube video with my students, just go to the apps list and search YouTube. I'm going to click YouTube and place it wherever I'd like on the board. You can also access a variety of different functions for your app to make the app full screen, take a screenshot of it, make it invisible to your student, or make it so that your student cannot lock it. Unlike a screen share, apps allow you to collaborate with your student in real time. So you could load an educational game directly in Pencil Spaces and interact with your student. So now I've loaded in a PDF for me and my student to work on, and I've added in a fun YouTube video for us to watch. I'm all set up, so now my student can join me for our live class. So now my student has joined me in the space. When you look at the upper right hand side and you hover over the avatars, you'll see that I'm in the session with my student. Right now, my students can see the whiteboard. However, they cannot see me or hear me because I haven't started a video call yet. If you're planning to teach classes in person, you won't need to start a video call. You could just leave it here and then use features like leader mode to bring your students' attention to different parts of the board. 
To start a video call though, just click start at the top right corner. You'll see a preview of your video and then click start call. Once you've started the call, your students will be invited to join you as well. Your video will be at the top right corner by default, but you could resize it by just dragging or you could collapse the video by clicking the double sided arrows. So now my student has joined me in the video call. All of your video controls can be found directly below the video view. So that's where you could mute, turn off your video, set up a screen share, or you could access the three dots to see more options like recording, reactions, and more. Let's show you how to set up a screen share. So to do that, just click share screen and select the screen you'd like to share. Then I'm going to click share and now my screen share is active. When I go back to my space, you'll see that there's a little window for my screen share, but that expands automatically for my student. You can maximize the view by clicking maximize under the video toolbar. And now you'll be in a gallery view. To pin your video or make it larger, just click the pin icon or expand into a full screen view. If I want my student to focus on any part of the board, I'm going to activate leader mode, which is the crown icon at the top left corner. Once leader mode is activated, everything within this blue border is exactly what my student will be seeing. So right now my student sees a gallery view, but if I go back to board and I move through this PDF, my student will move with me. This also applies to zooming in and out of the canvas and switching boards. Speaking of boards, not only do you have access to an infinite whiteboard canvas, however, you could also create multiple whiteboards within your space. This is great for organizing your lessons and being able to have a different board for every single day or every single topic. You could even create boards for individual students in a group class. Boards can be renamed, cloned or duplicated, locked, access can be restricted, and you could also change the background or fully clear the board. In addition to this, you also have the option to reorder boards to change the order of your lesson. If you have the boards list open and you have multiple students, any changes that are made to the board are visible to you immediately. So if Kiara is doodling on the board and I have the boards list open, regardless of which board I am in, I'll be able to see a small preview of what my student is doing, regardless of where I am in the space. When leader mode is turned on, your student will be able to edit the board, but they won't be able to move around. However, if I don't want my students to edit, I'm going to click the lock board button at the top right, and now my student is unable to edit. In addition to communicating through the video call, you also have access to a chat at the bottom left corner. Your students can message the general chat for the entire space. This gets saved and will be available the next time you join this space, or they can also message you privately. So now you can see that my student has sent a message in the general chat and I can send a response. If you'd like to, you can always clear the chat by clicking the three dots and clicking clear chat. If there are any permissions that you want to change within your space, you could easily access the permissions panel by clicking the little participants button next to the share button at the top right corner and then switching to permissions. This is where you could see all of the permissions that you could change for your students for example, you could disable things like screen sharing, editing the whiteboard or creating new boards, and even disable the chat. Then you can click update changes and your participants will have a new set of permissions. If you are teaching a class with multiple participants and you want to change permissions for an individual student, just click the arrow next to any of your permissions and change the permission for that specific student. If you switch to the control panel, that is the page where you will be able to request that your student turns on their microphone or their video, or you could also turn off their microphone or video. So I'm going to turn off Kiara's video, and then I can request that she turns it on again. Welcome back. 
Moving back to the resources that we uploaded onto the board, I'll show you what it looks like when you have a student interacting with you. So if I want to collaborate on a PDF with my student, I can use leader mode to bring my student's attention to that part of the document, and then my student can interact with the page using any of the whiteboard tools found below. Some of the whiteboard tools include the pen tool, highlighter, eraser, text tool, sticky notes, shapes, and the formula editor. All of the annotations placed on the PDF and on the whiteboard will be saved the next time you join the session. Now we're going to watch that interactive video together, and I'll show you the difference between apps and screen sharing. So now I've brought my students' attention to the video, but I would like to expand it a little bit more so that we can see everything. Using leader mode, just click the three dots at the top right corner of the app and click full screen app to make it larger for you and your student. So now we can watch this video with or without audio and it will sync on both of our devices. Unlike a screen share where my student is just watching me interact with my screen, here the student can actually collaborate with me. Kiara, how about you select one of the videos on the right hand side? So now my student has switched to another video and it was a fully collaborative experience. So that is it for the basics of teaching a lesson in pencil spaces. Feel free to browse our YouTube channel for additional videos showing you how to use pencil spaces. If you have any questions during your session, you can always click the help button at the top right corner to access our 24 seven chat support, or you can email support at pencilspaces.com if you have any questions. Make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.